Alright, well, I'm a bit stuck. So I decided to go out for a bit of a a little little so called scoot with my scooter. Just there. And it started raining. Well it was already raining, but then it got heavy. So now I'm a bit stuck here. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sid and yeah, we're a bit stuck today. So I'm sitting here in the undercover car park of a shopping center. But it should be fine if we just wait a little bit. I checked the weather ahead of time. It should be coming to a stop hopefully soon. But in the meantime, what we're gonna do, because <laughs> I really have nothing else to do and I'm stuck with my camera, so I may as well record this, is we're just gonna go around, um, just see what's happening in the undercover. Any dodgy people, any nice cars. Right where I'm sitting, there was a nice 86 that left. I was watching it, and so I decided to start the video right here where the 86 was. Oh. And then straight up we have GC8. Though that is... Yeah, that's a turboed one. Cool. So that's how we've seen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around, see if we can find any others. So we have another car that is making a decently loud noise ahead. Let's see if we can find what one that is. So this thing of some sort. Got some flaming wheels going on there. Nice. See if we could check out. I'm not too sure which one this is. So like don't get offended. Ah, it's an Nissan Pulsar Triple S, I believe. That's what it looks like. Yeah, not bad. I heard it coming all the way from down in here. And I was like, what's that? So then I decided to investigate and it's this. Parked all the way up, up here. Three piece wheels, rims, sorry. Got a nice hat in there that says dope. The rain has stopped, but, you know. Oh shit. The Mazda. It's the old Mazda logo right there. Mazda 323 Astina. That's pretty cool. Just caught this one here. Mark 5 GDI. And he's off. Caught that one. There's, I mean, there's nothing really special on the lower floor. Other than a click and collect, of course. <laughs> yeah, first floor. Nothing special. Something I've noticed about this car park. All the good cars park up. So we're going to have to head up a level. But the thing is, the second level is not undercover. So what we're going to have to do is pray that it doesn't rain and we can capture some good good cars that are up there. I'll take a quick search through that small lot over there, see if I can find anything. And the 350. 350C just chilling, looks kind of stock. Nothing really special for that one. Pretty neat. Found that one on the first level. Right here, 370 GT Skyline. Nice red one. Hold on. Did I... I think I just spotted something. It's not raining that much, but is that an Audi with my rims? Hold on. Audi S3. I knew I spotted them. Those rotor forms. I knew I spotted the KPSs. She. So this S3 is rocking KPSs. The only difference is my center caps are red. It has stopped raining a bit, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head straight up. There should be, because it almost always is, cars up there. Yeah, we're gonna just head up to the second level and see if we can find anything good up there. Check out this that I spotted. Feels bad, but... The man's just sitting there, but he's just sitting there with his head down on a trolley. Okay guys, I kid you not, that lady right there, that old lady walking off, is gonna be as shocked as I was, but she was driving the S15. Holy fuck. <laughs> Bro, I was not disappointed, but I went around a little bit, couldn't find any car, and I thought I was gonna be majorly disappointed, but nope. Instead, 
she drives this around. Has a custom plate. What the fuck? A spec R as well. I'm so done. It's a bird. But holy shit. She's gone into the chemist. I cannot believe. I just saw that. I literally thought this was it. This is the end. Like, went through the whole entire lot and I was gonna be disappointed. And then that pulled up. And I was like, what in God's name? Bro, you best believe it when they say one lady owner. <laughs> Holy shit. Right there, lady owner. Lady owner, never been thrashed before. Buy it right now. 20 grand. Fresh. Spec R. Automatic. Ah, oh, S15. <laughs> what are the chances? Shit, it's starting to rain now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to undercover. And I think that is all. So we're back where we were, when we started. As awesome as it is, I would go through every car park, but unfortunately we had security approach me and they said you guys can't record in here. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna finish up there with the footage that we have and just make do with what we have now. Okay, so right when I thought it was the end of the video, something actually happened. That's why you see me nowhere near the shopping center anymore. But on my way back home, I found a bunch of just random cards laying on the ground. It was all by this this female, I don't know. I didn't want to take like a look, close look up her, but um, her like bank card was there, her driver's license were there, a bunch of stuff that looked like they were torn from the wallet and whatnot. It was just randomly on the pathway close to the bus stop. And what I did is, this was like straight out of the shopping center, right near the front. What I did is I just called the security guy up. He took him about a minute or two to get to where I was. And I showed him and I just explained it all to him. But yeah, there was a really, really odd thing that happened. Fortunately, I wasn't able to capture it because he was the same guy who told me I couldn't record anymore. Um, but yeah, so that's why this video is so, um, this part's so abrupt because this happened on my way back once I finished recording. It was just the cards laying on the ground, so I wasn't really sure what happened. But I thought I'd let you guys know, so what I, I just called up security straight away and then I let them know about what happened and they were quick to respond. They came there, they said thanks. And then yeah, I was just off on my way. So I thought I'd let you guys know about that. If you guys haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, share, leave a like, comment, do all that type of stuff. It really helps me out. Check out the info card that is, should be straight up here. Um, that's a video on me explaining why I quit uni. To all you fellow people out there, don't forget to work hard, stay positive. See you guys in the next one. Until you find your way back home.